This is Jaap from Triple Trouble Archery and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to tune your arrows perfectly to your traditional bow. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is take a basic parallel uh, wooden shaft and taper it on both sides so it will become an, a barrel arrow. And in the process I will uh, show you how to match it perfectly to your bow. So the basic idea of this uh, tapering and barreling is pretty simple. You take a shaft that is too heavy for your bow, the spine is too heavy, it's too stiff in other words, and you're going to take off a lot of wood by tapering them. That means the spine will drop of course and hopefully that will match your bow. So here's what you need for uh, barreling and tuning your arrows. Of course some bare shafts, I would uh, suggest uh, getting a few different uh, spined arrow shafts. Uh, I always have them lying around so I can use them for a different bow every time because I make uh, I make a lot of bows and uh, for every other bow you need another uh, spine. So these are uh, 52 spined arrows I believe and the bow is only 43 pounds. I will explain uh, later why that is but always start off with a spine that is too heavy for your bow. Okay, so shafts, uh, you can use plastic knocks, but you can, all, uh, you can also make them yourself, like I do. So, plastic knocks or a saw, I guess. Uh, two taper tools, these are really basic and simple uh, things. I'll show them later. Uh, an electric drill and your new favorite bow. So let's talk a little bit about these taper tools. They're very simple. There's just uh, two wooden blocks with sanding paper or sanding linen in between them. And these bolts can be adjusted. So I drill holes in there and put these bolts in there. And you can, you can of course, loosen them and change your taper and then fasten them again. And that's the whole idea. I've got two of them because one has, uh, one has got very coarse sanding linen in between and, and one has got some finer. Um, I find that very helpful. It really speeds up the process and also the paper will last longer. So that's a pretty good idea. And they're very simple to make anyway, so why not? Okay, so making a barrel shaft is not really difficult, but it's a lot of work. Um, at least the first time, when you've got the right dimensions, you can do it again and again, and it goes pretty quickly, actually. Um, however, um, you're stuck to the width of your point, the diameter of your point, of course. However, I can change the length of my taper, and that influences the, the spine a lot. So you just have to play around with it. I, I don't have exact numbers, because every bow is different, every uh, arrow is different, every archer is different, so you cannot just use certain uh, numbers and, and, do, and, and it will work for everyone. That, that's not how it works. There's a lot of uh, testing involved in this, so your first arrows will, will take a lot of time. Hopefully not, but probably will take a lot of time. But I think in the end it's all worth it, so please stick with me and, uh, and uh, let's do this. Because it's pretty easy, actually. So, first, uh, first things first, I'm just going to taper the front end of the arrow. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it full length and I'll, I'll uh, taper the front end till it uh, fits my point. Okay? It's pretty easy, but it's... Uh, and I'm just guessing here how much... Uh, like five... I, I, I'm just going to go for five inches or, or, or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what works. I'll make a few different ones and see which one will turn out best. So... Um, Let's do that. Let's taper the shaft first. Get it in your drill. And get your drill plugged in, of course. Almost there. Just a little more. Okay, that's perfect. Nice. All right. Now these are screw-on points. Uh, a little ninja tip, if you didn't know this already, I always use a 
little drop of uh, Chinese tongue oil or uh, cooked linseed oil. It really makes it easy to, to screw on the point. And when the oil dries, it's really, uh, well, pretty much glued, uh, glued on the shaft, so it will never come loose again. Here's the great part about uh, doing this, you can make exactly the draw length uh, that you want. So I use my point uh, as a sort of a clicker. When I feel it on my hand, I know I, I've reached my, my anchor point and my draw length and I'll just let it go. So um, you can really do this with this method. So um, I could just copy this this draw length and make sure it's uh, make sure it's exactly the same as my pre previous arrows. So here's okay, and then cut that piece off. I use a knife uh, for this because a saw a saw will pretty much ruin the the shaft if you're making wooden knocks, and a knife will not. So. Here's how I do it. I just roll the shaft under the knife and apply pressure and then cut it off. You've got a really nice, uh, well, it's nice and uh, shiny. So once you've cut your uh, arrow to length, you can taper the other end. And uh, I always uh, taper it first and then make the knock because if you do it the other way around, your knock probably will be ruined. So um, that's a little tip. Um, I'm just gonna go for about six and a half millimeters in uh, thickness here. And uh, the length will, will come later. I mean, you're gonna have to test it and see what happens. That's about six and a half, nice. Okay. So next step is of course making a knock. And don't forget to reinforce your self knocks. Um, it's not always necessary, but I'll do it anyway. Um, because it's not a lot of work and uh, yeah. better safe than sorry in this case. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot this shaft and uh, uh, film it in slow motion and see what happens. Okay, so that was clearly way too stiff. So what I've done is adjust these taper tools so I, I, uh, I've adjusted the length of the taper because I didn't want to adjust the thickness of the, of the knock and also I kind of changed the thickness of the point. So um, by lengthening this taper, uh, the spine will become weaker and it should fly better off the bow. So let's test that. Oh, and by the way, two little things I almost forgot. Don't forget to mark the length of your taper because First off, you will uh, be able to see how far you should get it in the taper tool. And second, when you, uh, well, when the shaft is, for example, too stiff as it was, then you have a mark and you'll, you don't have to remember how long your taper was. You can just see the mark and uh, adjust it on the next shaft. First, I'll make a knock again and then shoot it again and see what happens. Right, so that was already much better. Um, the next step would be to, to taper it even uh, further and uh, shoot it again and see what happens. And then after you've done that and you think your, your arrow flies, flies straight, um, step back 10 yards and then perhaps um, 10 yards extra and uh, see what happens. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, you can do this, of course, uh, for every arrow you make. 
but that's a lot of work and I don't do that personally because I just copy the, the tapers on the rest of the shafts and uh, when, I, when the arrows are all finished you can even shoot them then and see which ones are grouping and select your arrows on that. That's, I think that's, that's more than enough for, for wooden arrows. I'm not a professional uh, archer so I'm not that good anyway. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah, so these arrows are actually pretty heavy. They're about 420 grains and I shoot them out of a 43 pound bow. So that's almost uh, 10 grains per pound. And these are actually made for a field competition because I'll have to shoot 10 yards, but also 80 yards. So because the balance point is almost in the middle, uh, the arrow won't drop out of the sky as quickly. And that's really nice if you have to shoot uh, 80 yards, but also it's quite heavy. So it's for the, for the really close by targets, it's really nice and stable. Um, so I guess you can, you can make your own ideal arrow and that, that's what I really like about this and play around with uh, point weight, total weight, um, feathers and, and all, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this. I'll, I'll be glad to know if you've got any questions and how you're getting on and uh, would, yeah, it would be really cool to, to see uh, if it helps you guys. So um, enjoy and uh, talk to you next time. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Thank you.